Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the ATI T's study manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 163. We are dealing with the notion of units of measurements, how to go about converting metric units to English units and vice versa. If you are interested in getting some more practice on the concept, you will find that we have solved every single math problems that appeared in the previous edition, the fifth edition, and you will find the solutions to all of those video problems from day number 1 through 80. Particularly, the videos dealing with the units of measurements, you will find those on day number 37, 38 and 39 in the event that you want to practice a little bit more some more problems dealing with the notion of units of measurements you will also find five more videos in the new series in another series called basic math it is simply called basic math don't type in t's with it or anything just type in basic math day one the series begins with the day one obviously it goes all the way up to day 100 and in the last five with five days 96 to 100 we dealt with the notion of units of measurements day before yesterday on day 163, we started this thing, uh, we talked about the fact that when we're dealing with units of measurements, we have to realize that, that essentially we, deal have to, we, have, we have to deal with three broad categories. Three broad categories. The things dealing with distance, distances. Then we have to deal with uh, things that, are, that deal with weight, which we did yesterday. Today we're going to talk about the liquid things where we have to deal, worry about volumes. And again, let's first put down on the blackboard what we need to know for the exam. There aren't too many things that you have to need to know for the exam, just basic things. We're done with the distance. We dealt with, we were, we dealt with the distance day before yesterday. I'm going to erase this thing because we need room. What do we need to know as far as the volume is concerned? A very simple thing. We have to understand, we have to know that one liter is approximately 1.06 whole. This is 1.06. Nothing is going to happen to you. Not, nothing horrible is going to happen to you if you make a claim that one liter approximately equals one quart. It's actually 1.06 quart. A liter is a little bit more than a quart. Since we know, since we know that four quarts make one gallon. We all know that, that one, a gallon is made up of four quarts, since four quarts means one, quart, one gallon, and one quart is approximately one liter, therefore, this, this three darts means therefore. When you put three darts like this, this is read as therefore. One more time, this is a starting point, we simply have to know that one liter is approximately one quart. We have to know that one liter is approximately one quart. Then we realize the fact that four quarts make one gallon. Since we know that four quarts make one gallon, therefore, therefore, four liter must approximately equal one gallon. Because the gallon is made up of four quarts. Actually, if you want to be more precise, if you want to be more precise, if you want a little bit more precision, actually, one gallon is approximately three and seven eighth liter. Not quite four liters, but for the exam, four liter is good enough. You don't have to worry about three and seven eighth. There's two problems, shall we? I was gonna write the problem on the blackboard ahead of time, but I thought you will get more out of it if, if we write the problems together so that you can get a better understanding of it. So it says gasoline cost, Gasoline cost, we are told, just cost of gasoline is 150 yen. Where do they use yen? They use it in Japan, that's the Japanese currency. 150 yens per liter. They use yens for their money and they use liters. They use metric system, they don't use gallon. And if you pull up, pull up at the gas station in Japan to put gas in your car, you would have to pay 150 yen for each liter. The question is very straightforward. The question simply is, what is the approximate cost in 
dollar per gallon. We are used to paying dollars per gallon. What's the cost in dollar per gallon? Given the fact, this is something that will be given to you. You don't have to, you don't have to worry about. Given means, given means exactly what it says. It will be given to you in the exam. You don't have to worry about the exchange rate. They will tell you which exchange rate they want you to use. The exchange rate they're telling us is one dollar is one hundred and twenty yen. The price of one dollar is one hundred and twenty yen. How do we go about it? Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. What will be the starting point? Well, starting point is what we are told here. We are told one hundred and fifty liter, one hundred and fifty yen for a liter. That's that's what we know. That's what's given to us. That's our starting point. So we know one liter cost. 150 yen. But we don't want to buy 1 liters, we want to buy 4 liters. Because 4 liters is 1 gallon approximately. Well, if 1 liter, if one liter costs 150 yen, we don't want to buy 1 liter, we want to buy 4 liters. Multiply both sides of the equation by 4. Multiply this by 4. Well, now we're done. So now we know, now we know that 4 liters cost 150 times 4 so that's 600 yen 600 yen only thing, have to, only thing we have to do now is to convert the yen into dollars which we can do at the bottom here how, do, how are we going to go about convert, converting yen into dollars? it's very simple put down 600 yen times and here is the conversion factor we want to get rid of the yen so yen is at the top we need a yen on the bottom so we can cancel each other out. How many yens in one dollar? If you put one dollar here, that's which. How many yens in one dollar? 120 yens make one dollar. That's your conversion factor. One dollar is made up of 120 yens. In other words, in other words, the stock quantity one dollar is equal to 120 yens since top is same as the bottom. Of essentially, we're multiplying this quantity by one because this fraction is just one. It's one dollar over one 120 yens is one over one. Why did we do it? Because we want to get rid of this yen. Yen is in the top here. Yen appears in the bottom. It goes away. And we are left with the dollar. All we have to do is divide now 600 by 120. 600 by 120. Let's do it here. 600 by 120. And what's going to be the unit? The unit is going to be dollar. So how do we go about dividing 600 by 120? Well, I see zero on the top. I see zero on the bottom. Top quantity ends in a zero, bottom quantity ends in a zero. That tells us that we can divide top and bottom by 10. If we divide top and bottom by 10, we can cancel out the zeros. What else can we do? Let's divide top and bottom by 2. Or if you like, we can divide top and bottom by 12. You should know your tables. You should know your timetables. It's very important. You should know your times table. 12 fives are 60. If you have 5 twelves, 5 twelves are 60. 1 twelve is 12. 2 twelves are 24. 3 twelves are 36, 4 twelves are 48, 5 twelves are 60. And if you didn't know it, you're going to have to do it the baby way. So if you like, you can do it the baby way. Divide top and bottom by 2. If you divide top and bottom by 2, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Since we divide the, divided the bottom by 2, we must divide the top by 2. 6 has 3 2's and 0 has no 2's. Again, we see even number on the top, we see even on the bottom, just divide top and bottom by 2 one more time. If you divide 6 by 2, it becomes a 3. And if you divide 30 by 2, it becomes a 15. You see 3 at the bottom, you see 15 at the top, let's divide top and bottom by 5. 3 fives are 15. So you see, 5 dollars is the answer. The answer is, get gasoline costs 5 dollars per gallon. But we didn't have to all do all of this mumbo jumbo. If we were able to see, rather we did not have 600, we did have 600, but we crossed out the zeros, we had 60. We didn't have to do all this mumbo jumbo, if we were able to see, that 60 is made up of 5 twelves. 5 twelves are 60. If we can figure it out that 5 twelves are 60, then we can divide top and bottom by 12 and we are done in one shot, in one step, instead of doing it in three steps. Do you understand? So this was one way of doing it. Another way to do this problem is to, instead of doing it in two steps, first we convert it, first we convert it our deal, uh, 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 first we convert it our, our, our liters into gallons. You see, it says 1 liter costs 150 yen, therefore 4 liters costs 600 years. And 4 liter is the 1 gallon. So 1 gallon costs 600 yen, and then we figure out the cost of 600, then we figure out 
how many dollars is 600 yen and we just figured out the 600 yen is made up of five dollars so the answer is gasoline cost five dollars per gallon instead of doing a two step first converting the liter into gallon and then figuring out the converting the money from yen to dollar if you wanted to do all in one shot we could have done that too should we do it let's do it together i need the room obviously we're gonna have to erase all of this thing just give me one brief second i'm gonna take a quick break Let's do it together. I need the room, so we're gonna erase all of this thing. Stay with me, okay? Watch what happens. If if we need more room, we're gonna erase all of this. Okay, so let's let's, let's do it in one step. Watch watch what happens. What do we know? What we know is the gasoline costs 150 yen per liter. That's that's our starting point. 150 yen per one liter what should we, it's up to you whether you want to get a liter first or whether you want to get a yen first makes no difference let's get rid of liters first how, how do we get rid of liters by putting it on the top we don't want liters we want to get rid of the liters and we want gallons we want price per gallon and how many liters make a gallon well we know one gallon is made up of four liters right here four liters make a gallon now, a liter appears on the bottom here, a liter appears on the top, we can get rid of it. We already have the gallon on the bottom. Now we need dollars on the top because we want the price in terms of dollars per gallon. The gallon is already at the bottom, we need to put dollars on the top. How do we do that? By realizing that one dollar is 120 yen. We want to get rid of the yen, so put the yen at the bottom and put a dollar on the top. And what's the conversion factor? We know that one dollar is 120 yen now we have to simplify it let me change the color well, first we see first we see a yen over here way over here yen appears way over here and it appears way over here since yen appears at the bottom here and it appears in the top here we can we can we can cancel out the yen they're gone. Now we simplify it, shall we? Let's pick up speed, okay? We see, I see a 4, I see a 12 here, even though it's 120, let's pretend it's 12. 12 is made up of 4 12. 12 is made up of 3, but 12 is made up of 3 4s. 3 4s are 12. We have a 4, 2 4s are 8, 3 4s are 12. So let's divide top and bottom by 4. As a result, the 4 is going to go away, 12 becomes 3, and 0 has no 4, so it becomes 30. 12 has 3 4s. 12 has 3 4s and 0 has no 4s. It becomes 120 becomes 30. Now, we see 150 at the top here. We see 150 at the top here. And we see 30 at the bottom here. 30 ends in a 0. And 150 ends in a 0. Let's divide top and bottom by 10. If we divide top and bottom by 10, we can get rid of the zeros. We could have gotten rid of the 0 with that 0 right from the very beginning had I seen it before. I, I didn't see it. This 120 ends in a 0 and this 150 ends in a 0, we could have started out by dividing top and bottom by 10 to start out with it as a first step, doesn't matter. Let's see, we're almost done. This is just a 1, that's a 15, that's a 3. How many 3's make 15? 5 3's make a 15. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. If we divide top and bottom by 3, 3 is going to go away, 3 is going to go away, and 15 becomes 5. Let's take an inventory, okay? Let's take an inventory of what we are left with. We're going to take an inventory and we're going to write down as we as we take the inventory. Nothing is left here. Units are gone. Nothing is left here. Units are gone. We're left with 5 here. 5 times 1. Well, 5 times 1, 5 times 1 is just 5. What's the unit on the top? What unit are we left with? We're left with dollar. What do we have left on the bottom? We have 1 times 1. Well, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is just 1. Nothing else is left. No other numbers are left. So it's just one. And what unit are we left with? We're left with gallon. Well, no, there's your answer. Five dollars per one gallon. The answer is five dollars per gallon. Or if you like, five dollars per one gallon. That was the question here. What is the approximate cost in dollar per gallon? It's five dollars per gallon.
that was it even though oh why do we why do we use the word approximate here even though we are using the precise exchange rate one dollar is exactly 120 yuan so that exchange rate is not approximate this is exact it is given to us they're telling us that one dollar is exactly 120 120 yuan yeah, and yet the question says approximate cost why approximate cost because in doing our calculation we are pretending that one gallon is made up of four liters it is not one gallon is approximately three and seven eight liters hence the approximation do you understand the cost is approximately five dollars per gallon almost twice as much as what it costs here in the u.s right now as i speak on july the 17th i believe today july the july the 13th 2017 as i speak uh, today it's around 250 a gallon over there is five dollars a gallon i'll see you tomorrow okay bye now